I tried beating Terraria using the stick class. Anything from a wooden stick all the way to the zenith stick is available for us to use. So will I be able to take out Moonlord and beat Terraria? Well, let's find out. I started off by spawning into the wonderful world of Terraria and opening up my little starter bag. Got myself some life crystals, got myself the summon for King Slime, got a little bit of potions just to make the early game progression a little bit easier, and then I went through all of the various different sticks. I wanted to check out what this mod really had to offer and literally upon checking the crafting menu everything from just like wooden sticks all the way up to end game sticks such as terra sticks nebula and solar sticks were actually available for us to craft even the zenith stick which is actually called the stick of light so by the end of this playthrough we're going to be rocking with the zenith and terra sticks anyways for now i chopped down some trees and crafted a wooden stick as well as making a crafting table and then placing some houses i want to get some npcs to move in just so that i can get the woman that sells the potions and the alchemist from a quality of life mod that I have installed to move in as it's very helpful. It essentially lets us traverse around the world far faster and then I started digging out a elevator which also led me to getting some ores. I stumbled upon a mushroom biome, I picked up some life crystals and I also got some gold, some good loot from a golden chest and once I came back to spawn I fully kitted out with a furnace, an anvil and I started making some stick armor. Along with this I actually had made a brand new stick called the starstruck stick which summons stars from the sky upon swinging. I crafted myself a dig faster accessory and then I went straight back to mining. I basically dug out my elevator a little bit more, try to get some more life crystals, try to get the summon for the Eye of Cthulhu and I also got a bunch more ore such as gold and platinum which comes in useful for later crafting recipes. I managed to get the summon for the Eye of Cthulhu and once I came back to spawn I went over to the corruption and made a tiny little arena for the Eater of Worlds that we're going to fight soon. Then I added more NPC houses, I crafted myself some demonite sticks, I finished up my full armor set for the stick class, got some stick accessories, I cleared out a sand temple and then I went over to the jungle as I needed to farm out some stingers and jungle spores for a brand new stick. I then broke a couple of orbs to summon in the Eater of Worlds and upon doing that I rushed back to my little platform that I had built and absolutely demolished this boss. This wasn't too difficult and I made myself a nightmare pickaxe, continued my elevator and actually made it all the way down to the underworld within like the first hour of playing the game. Yes, I know, ensue all the comments of saying that I should play on expert mode, no, I will not do that, thank you. So Soon after, since it was nighttime, I built a tiny arena at Skeletron's dungeon and I proceeded to fight him. This was quite easy using the Demonite Stick and the Starstruck Stick and then I went right into his temple. I picked up as many chests as I could, got myself a bunch of golden keys, you know, because I need them to open the chest, got myself tons of water candles and then I came back to spawn. Once I came back to spawn, we actually got invaded by goblins, which was kind of a pain because our sticks were quite underpowered for goblins themselves. But I did take out the invasion and soon after, I went mining for some beautiful beautiful sweet hellstone. Upon getting hellstone, I got myself the hellforge, made myself this fiery hellstone stick, and a full set of molten armor. See, the stick class isn't really its own class, it's like a branch of melee weapons, so technically any melee armor does work for the stick class. Anyways, I went back to the dungeon, farmed out some mobs, got myself more water candles, got myself the muramasa stick, which is one of the big reasons I was in the dungeon, and then I went to farm for stingers and jungle spores once more, to fully finish off the triad, the quadruple of sticks that we needed to craft to make the knight's edge stick which is what we went to go do after this i went to go fight the queen bee and i accidentally summoned like a million of them but you know since i'm the best player in all of terraria i took them out after this i went down to the underworld made a massive arena for the wall of flesh does anybody else think the wall of flesh looks like a very silly boss could you imagine what it would look like in real life you know don't don't imagine that actually anyways before fighting the wall of flesh we actually got invaded by goblins so i came back to the surface and decided to go right back down as I was not about to deal with that. Made the platform a little bit bigger and then I chucked a guide voodoo doll into the lava and fought the wall of flesh. Using the night stick we pretty quickly took out the wall of flesh. One annoying thing is that you have to stay really close to bosses so if we had to do this on something like expert mode I probably would have died but you can kind of cheese it on normal mode. I also used the worm stick because it shoots these like corrupting projectiles which are also pretty nice. So yeah we took out the wall of flesh and now we're in hard mode. I went to go bless the world with all of the hard mode ores and I also took took out the goblin invasion during this time. I also got a brand new stick from the wall of flesh called the hungering stick which kind of acts as a ranged weapon. It's almost like a flamethrower but you know it's a stick. And further within hard mode there are more and more weapons that actually get cooler and cooler and aren't just like melee weapons so be on the lookout for that. Anyways upon blessing the world I got myself some palladium and then I built an above ground mushroom biome because we're gonna need that for the zenith stick. We're gonna actually have to craft a shroomite stick for the zenith stick. I don't know how it works but yeah we're gonna have to do that. So I built 
built the biome, then I got myself some mithril, made myself the mithril anvil, and then I went to go farm my adamantite. Since I couldn't get enough adamantite, and you know, just like traversing the underworld in early hard mode is a pain in the ass, I decided to go kill some wyverns, get myself some souls of flight, and craft myself a pair of harpy wings. Finally, I was actually able to traverse the underground, and I got myself tons and tons of adamantite, crafted myself a full set of adamantite armor, got myself the adamantite stick, and upon getting all the resources to craft the summon for the destroyer, as it turns nighttime, I went to go and summon him in. We had a long and treacherous battle, you know, as I always do, I buffed up, and well, using the adamantite stick and the hungering stick, this boss wasn't too difficult, and we managed to take out the destroyer. Upon defeating our first mechanical boss, we actually got a bunch of hallowed bars. I was about to say hallowed ore, but you know, boy has been playing too much calamity. Huge inferno mode video coming soon, by the way. I crafted myself the hallowed stick, yeah, using hallowed bars. This was actually very bad, and instead of using the hallowed stick, I just used the hungering stick, which we actually got from the wall of flesh to go and take out the twins and that's exactly what i did we took out the twins is what i would want to say if it hadn't turned to daytime and they didn't fly away with this loss in mind i waited for it to turn to nighttime once more i buffed up again and this time we actually managed to take out the twins and then looking at the moon phases i actually had enough time to summon skeletron prime and so i fought him as he got closer and closer to the end of the boss fight i started doubting myself more as we just weren't doing enough damage and well you could probably guess what happened even though i thought i had enough time, turned to daytime, and Skeletron Prime took me out. This is where I was infuriated and just started browsing through weapons to see what could be better, but you know, literally no other weapons were better than all the sticks that I had right now. Each mechanical boss actually dropped its own stick too, but for some reason I didn't manage to get any of those. I was super unlucky within this playthrough. Basically every boss drops its stick. I continued to later build up my above ground mushroom arena. I fought Queen Bee. I bought a bunch more potions, and while waiting for it to turn to nighttime, I built more NPC houses, and as it finally turned to nighttime, I buffed up, summoned in Skeletron Prime, and went on the long and unforgiving boss fight of Mr. Sands over here. We did manage to take him out this time, you know, making the jungle grow restless, letting Plantera spawn in, but also giving us access to a bunch of brand new weapons that are completely overpowered. I dug up tons and tons of Chlorophyte, and once I came back, I crafted myself the Chlorophyte Stick. Along with the Chlorophyte Stick, I crafted myself the True Knight Stick and the True Excalibur Stick. As you know, we're gonna need that for the Terra Stick. I then went to go farm out turtles because, well, I wanted to get myself a full set of turtle armor, and upon farming turtles for like 20 minutes straight, I managed to get all the turtle shells I needed, and then I just needed a little bit more glorophyte so that I could be able to craft a full set of turtle armor. I got the glorified I needed, ran all the way back to spawn, and crafted a full set of turtle armor. This is where I went back to the jungle and built a massive arena for Plantera, but upon actually using a bomb to blow up the arena for Plantera, I somehow blew up the actual summon for Plantera, and, you know, I'm not the smartest guy. Yeah, it's just, uh, forgive me. Anyways, this had me needing to craft the manual summon for Plantera, which is a part of Fargo's mutant mod. Just in case you can't find the bulb, this is like a pretty handy summon for Plantera. You just need like five moon glow, some chlorophyte, and five of another plant. I completely forget what it is, but probably just starts it up very quickly. And well, I came back to the arena and summoned in Plantera. Now, and now using the various different weapons that I had, like the chlorophyte stick, the true knight stick, the true Excalibur stick, we tried to take out Plantera, and frankly, it wasn't too difficult. We just flew around her with our little harpy wings and turtle armor. We didn't take too much damage, and well, we took out Plantera. Upon beating Plantera, I actually got a brand new stick that I really needed, which was the plant stick. Essentially, it's kind of like the seedler if you put it into a stick version, but we're going to need this for the zenith, so it's actually very good that we have this. Then I went over to Golem's Temple. I just completely stole everything from there. I did some devious acts. Then I spawned in a solar eclipse because I needed myself the broken hero stick, and upon killing tons of Mothrons, I got it. And well, I proceeded to go and craft myself the Terra stick. This, by damage, is the best stick in the game, and I think it actually kind of rivals the Zenith stick. I don't know why it's like that, but the Zenith stick like isn't as good, but it does have far more projectiles. So this one does more damage, but the Zenith stick might be better. I don't know. It's really up to preference on how you play the game. Anyways, I bought tons and tons of potions, and I went over to Golem's Temple, summoned him in, and absolutely brutalized this little boss, giving us access to the Lunatic Cultist. Upon seeing that the Cultist and his little followers are sitting there lonely, I decided to actually pass them. That is correct. You thought I was going to fight them? No, I went into the dungeon to get myself some ectoplasm because we are going to need that to craft the ectoplasm stick. I don't really know, like specter stick? I don't know what it's called. But yeah, I got myself a bunch of specter bars and well, I crafted myself the specter stick. This shot out homing projectiles but weren't really too useful. The only use the stick had was just the homing projectiles, of course, as I said, but they're only really useful for the Lunatic Cultist boss fight. So I did try to use it there, but it does like no damage. So I just stuck to the Terra stick and 
and we took out the lunatic cultist quite quickly. We got ourselves the ancient manipulator and I was completely thrusted within like two seconds to the solar pillar biome thing. Are they biomes? Like when the solar pillar taxes it a different biome? You guys tell me in the comments down below. I'm curious. Anyways, I tried to take out the solar pillar and well, I was successful with that, but you know, I did die a couple of times. I'm not going to flex too hard here. I then went to go take out the stardust pillar, which, which we did quite easily as well. I actually also crafted myself the stardust and the solar stick at this point, and I think the stardust stick was probably the best as it shot out these like different explosions wherever you aimed your cursor. So it was very, very good and it dealt quite a lot of damage. Really get like a ranged hit on enemies. It was almost like the specter stick, but on like steroids. Anyways, we then took out the vortex pillar next, and I crafted myself the vortex stick, which is probably the worst out of all of them. I then went to defeat Golem a little bit more. I dug up more chlorophyte. I then beat a couple of mechanical bosses just to get more money. I bought tons and tons of potions, crafted a full set of beetle armor, got myself the best accessories, and once that was done, I came over to the nebula pillar, took out all of the nebula enemies, and I crafted myself the nebula stick. I then quickly ran back over and crafted myself the stick of life, which was the zenith stick that we were so desperately trying to get throughout this entire playthrough. Anyways, Moon Lord spawns, I activate all of my potions, and just start going for all of his hands. We're running around in circles like crazy, cheesing with the nurse, you know, typical boy on behavior. And then I took out all of his arms, took out his eyes, and this is where he got a little bit scared. Cause you know, typically I don't beat Moon Lord on my first try, so he's probably getting a little bit embarrassed, you know, too good at the game, what can I say? Professional normal mode Terraria player. I took out his core quite easily and well, he didn't actually drop any of his weapons. He actually dropped some sticks, but for some reason I didn't get it for my first time. So I went to go fight the Moon Lord again, and this time I used the Terra stick. I was almost about to say Terraria stick. Yo, mod developer rename it to the Terraria stick. Add that at the bottom of the, you know, the description. Terraria stick. Anyways, I took out the Moon Lord, got myself one of his sticks. It wasn't anything special. Soon after, I crafted myself a full set of solar armor, and well, here you go. This is the best armor set that I can get with the best sticks, dealing the most amount of damage. So, we fully have completed the stick class in Terraria. Comment down below what stick effect was your favorite. I definitely have to say the Zenith one looks the coolest out of all the ones that I tried out, but hey, you know, you might think something else looks better. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. Drop a like if you want to see more videos like this. This has been Boyo. Peace out.